Hey, welcome back, guys. I'm Shervin out of Dragons MMA, and this is... I'm Joe. Uh, I train under Jean-Jacques Machado. And we are going to work on the three aspects of the rear naked choke. Let's see what that looks like. Um, oh, the first aspect. He's going to talk about the gripping. All right. Cool. All right, welcome back. So I got the seatbelt position. I got the back control. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lead my thumb. Sometimes we try to lead with the fingers. I draw a chin down. And what happens is he's so strong that my wrist starts bending and it's not healthy for my wrist. So I like to lead with the thumb because the wrist is right behind it. I'm not bending anything. So it's nice and strong. That gets the chin up. That's the first aspect of the rear naked choke. All right, let's go to positions. So you're gonna talk about what happens after you get the chin and then the grip and then the finish. So second aspect and then say third aspect when you go third aspect. Okay, okay. So back, uh, just going on what Shervin said earlier, never crossing my feet, that is bad. Instead, I am engaging my hips like that, bring my hips to his tailbone, and it's a whole lot harder for him to move now. Um, Seatbelt, so I got a dagger in my hand. I want to stab him in the heart. The reason why, if I'm like this and I strip my top hand, I can still get the choke. Boom, you know, so always protect the bottom hand like that. Um, the one way I do finish, so you can get here, I try and get the chi my elbow beneath his chin, and then it's pressure is there. And then also, you can either do like a blade going down, or you can do palm to palm grip. Either way, it will work. But the main aspect for me, hip position, because even if I have a choke in, I'm not controlling his hips. I'm screwed. I want to solidify that position. And I solidify that position with my hips, my hooks. Boom, boom. Like this. Move from here. Boom. Hi, right, guys. Uh, in conclusion, uh, thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget about the three aspects. I touched on the first aspect. Lead with the thumb. And Mr. Joe. Um, hips. Engage your hips, that's the most important thing. Never cross your ankles, engage your hips instead. And then top hand should be like a dagger in the heart. That way, when they strip off the top hand, you're good to go. All right, guys, Boom. see you guys in the next one.